hey guys welcome back to my channel i am not a vlogger like this is this is not really my thing but i've been doing like little projects and stuff around the house and i'm really trying to like get into more organization and just you know making my home very aesthetically pleasing like that's that's just really what i've been wanting to do lately so i wanted to like include you guys in like the little projects and stuff that i do around the house and well some of them aren't really that little but projects and stuff that i'm doing around the house and how i organize my stuff i've just wanted to share that with you guys so my first project as you guys could tell is my closet i have a whole bunch of clothes and not a lot of space my closet is not conducive for the clothing that i have right now so i decided that i wanted to build some shelving into my closet repaint it just give it a nice new fresh makeover so of course hakeem and his stepdad are helping me with this project they are cutting the wood right now i already measured everything out for them so they are cutting that right now i already cleared out my closet moved all my clothes i started folding what i wanted folded and swapped out the hangers for you know the stuff that i'm hanging up and i'll show you guys the whole process of everything that i'm doing this isn't really like a tutorial but it is like diy and i just wanted to show you guys like if you have the tools and stuff that you could definitely do this in your home or any space that you feel necessary this week i am trying to tackle really my whole upstairs but my main focus is my closet i already started taking out all my clothes from out of here these are my old hangers and these are the new ones i just got from amazon so everything is cleared out i'm gonna be adding shelving to this side of my closet and as you guys see it goes all the way through to the next side and this is where the rest of my clothes are hanging up that will also be taken down swapped out hangers and i still need to go through this section of what i want to get rid of and there's just a whole bunch of old stuff and junk down here so i just want to like change up this rod and really just make this closet a lot more functional than it is right now and so these are all the clothes that i still have to go through i have three big piles i have some shoes over here and i have even more stuff to go through but we're going to fix this and get it all nice and organized all right so i've folded a lot of my clothes and i just stored them in this bin once i got done folding them i still have a ways to go but this is what's done and i already started putting some in the drawers i have for right now so i'm just gonna keep going and put these in their respective place first hangers in the closet so nice and organized now So we started off by measuring everything how I wanted and made sure that everything would fit in the closet and then they went ahead and started cutting that wood in the garage. We used all scrap wood for this project and didn't have to purchase any from the store which was really nice and helpful for us. But we did have to get a Lowe's for some other things that we needed. We got the L brackets from there and we also got the clothing rod and brackets for where I'm going to be hanging up my clothes. And I ended up going with white brackets um at first i thought i was gonna get black or silver but i thought white would just look a lot cleaner with everything because i am painting my closet white so when we got back i started taking everything out of my closet so i can get ready to paint so i just went ahead and started putting down some newspaper so i can paint and then i went and took down my old clothing rod because you guys saw that i'm getting a new one and it is just gonna be on the left side of my closet we're actually gonna cut it off instead of it being one open way we actually are going to cut it but before we did that i wanted to paint everything first so we had a nice blank canvas to work with at the time we couldn't find any of our rollers so i just decided to go ahead and just start painting with the paintbrush it did take a lot longer and i did get a lot of brush strokes but it was fine because we're going to do two coats anyway So now everything is all painted and I just didn't paint the extra wood pieces because those are the pieces that we will be removing and some will be replacing. So there was no point in painting them if I'm just gonna be taking it off. So this is what it looks like all finished. 
and now we started the removal process of those extra pieces of wood so now you can see that is gone and we took off that big block of wood that was over here and I forgot to move this which I definitely should have So we had this nice big piece of wood in our attic so we could be able to build that barrier to cut off that little back walkway of the closet and be able to make it into two separate closets. So this side will be where my clothes are hanging and this is the side where my shelves are going to end up being. You know, please don't mind me looking rough right now. We are doing a lot of stuff in the house. Everything kind of just looks a mess right now. But we are finally, finally making some progress on my closet. I am super, super excited to show you. That. Okay, here's an update of how things are going. We got our like little bracket thingies, I guess. I don't know. Everything's measured out for the shelves. This is where we're at. Yeah. Most of the shelves are in. Don't worry about this hole, it's getting fixed. But yeah, the shelves are in just about. They're going to cut more of these squares and then put those in. But it is looking good. I'm already maximizing my storage in here. You guys can see it all coming together. I might get like little baskets to put down here for some other stuff. I'm super excited. All right. Oh, he left his water. Not right. Not right. Tell him how you feel. So now that the shelves are all in, we were able to grab our vacuum to be able to vacuum out any dust and dirt off of the floor and off of them so that they'd be ready to paint. And our vacuum is a Kirby vacuum. Um, it was definitely expensive, but definitely worth it. Are you leaving? We finally found the paint roller, so that made our painting process go a lot easier and a lot faster. So I just went ahead and started painting my shelves. We did two coats on the shelves just to, again, make sure everything was nice and smooth and it was just like an even coating of paint. You don't want to see any like wood marks and stuff on the shelves or anything. And then I had to call Hakeem for backup because I could not reach the top shelf, so he helped me finish up painting the rest of them. So this is what the shelves look like all finished being painted. Well, almost finished. We definitely didn't paint that top part. I think this is just the first coat and then we let it dry and then we went back in with the second coat. But this is what it's looking like so far. And after we're done painting, we're gonna add like those little strips that you see. Like when you buy furniture from the store, just to give it like a nice polished edge. We also put the clothing rod in so that is all nice and set up. And I'm able to put my clothes that are hanging up in the closet now because this side is done. And this is what it's looking like, all nice and clean. I ended up organizing my clothes by color. I just think it looks a lot nicer to see it nice and organized like that. So I showed you guys in what color order that I went with it. It's basically like Vorgy Biv, but I didn't have purple clothes, so I didn't add that. And I just added pink in with the red clothes. But as you guys can see, I have a whole bunch of space on this side. I think this is two feet and now the shelves are done. So I just added some clothes in to see what it was looking like. I wasn't sure how I wanted to put my clothes in the closet, but I ended up putting them the same way that I have my clothes hanging up in color order. And you guys will see that when I show you the finished product. And now it's time.
I think I'm gonna add some storage bins to the bottom of the shelving for some extra shoes that I don't want on display and for my seasonal items. But yeah guys, this is pretty much it. This is what my closet is looking like. I'm so happy, super excited about it. I'm glad that everything worked out really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun to do something different and show it on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.